All right, guys, I am doing everything DIY reno in my house. So I thought I would come to the at home store to see what I can find. I'm really looking for a table. Let's hope that that is the only thing that I leave with. Immediately upon entering the store, I ran into these little rattan candle holders. We know that no matter where you go nowadays, Ross, Home Goods, Marshalls, at home store, the rattan wicker movement is real. As we progress through the video, you will see several, <laughs> several items that are rattan and wicker. So I will point some of that out as I go along. This little section here was $9.99 and below. So I thought I would look to see if I can find some cute little things for my home. Me personally, I don't need any more rugs. So I ultimately ended up passing this area up. But I did like these little storage containers that were really, really cute. They came in the two different colors and they also came in a bigger size, as you can see there. This can be great for bathroom storage, under cabinet storage. The bigger one is $7.99, the smaller one is $5.99. So I didn't want to pass up the opportunity at looking at those. Everything else was kind of cute, but nothing that was really going with the style that I was looking for today for my home. This particular section here was the mini setups that they have when you first walk in the door. And here I saw this cute little flower holder or rose holder or vase vase <laughs> whatever you would call it that was only $14.99 so I thought that was a pretty decent price uh, the goal for my home is to just bring down the glam a little bit I have a lot of golds and stuff already in my house so I do kind of want to bring some more solid cool tones in I then moved over here to the more earth tone section. So this is kind of what I would be looking for. The blacks, brown mixed colors, the taupes, browns, caramel colored things to kind of give my house, just ground my house a little bit. That's kind of the wave as well and the direction that decor is going. Um, and I just saw some cute things on this display table. Now that's $29.99 and, and that's where I kind of get confused with the home store because you can find things that will be as low as $9.99 and you'll be shocked. And then you'll see some things later on in the video that were like $60. And I'm like, how? Maybe that's how they make up for the low prices, but I'm such a bargain shopper that I'm quite sure if you can't find something that you need at the thrift store that you can upcycle in DIY, Ross is always my go-to. Ross has tons of baskets out right now that look very similar to what we're seeing. So always shop around, check on Amazon as well. I'm just showing you what's available, um, but definitely do your due diligence and do your research to find uh, the right look for your home.
as you can see here I decided to stop in the pot area for the plants I have two plants I'm trying to become a plant mom again I had two peace lilies that didn't make it past the six month mark and I think it could be because I was over watering them I know peace lilies are one of the low maintenance plants water once a week doesn't need direct sunlight but I don't think I had the green thumb so I'm going to try again and I was just browsing the area to look for two pots that could fit my peace lilies the new peace lilies that I plan on getting now I know I complained about some expensive things but I was shocked to see these pots at this price $7.99. Oh my gosh, I'm loud. That's it? $12.99. And $19.99. As you can see, I kind of did a double take. I wanted the pot so bad. Ultimately, I left them there because the shape of them is not full circle. It's kind of like that ovally egg shape. And I just didn't think that my plant pot would fit in there appropriately. So I left them there. But oh my goodness, guys, if you guys need a cheap planter, definitely check out the at-home store because those were beautiful and it would go perfectly with the aesthetic that I'm trying to complete for my living room and for my home. So as part of the little updates that I'm doing in my house, I do need some bar stools for my kitchen island and I need about three of them. Last year when I was kind of decluttering my home, I sold a lot of items and I regret to this day that I sold my bar stools to my neighbor. She came in and wanted everything like down to the place settings that I had on my dining room table and I cannot find, they're still on Amazon, but they're out of stock. They were white on the bottom and they had a gray leather their top kind of similar to this but they were square and they weren't cloth so they were easy to wipe off those were about $160 or $180 for three so it was a really great value now that I cannot find them I have not been able to duplicate that same look so with going to the at-home store and looking in this section I noticed really quickly that these are either over budget um, they cost too much or they just don't match what I'm going for I'm just leisurely strolling down the aisle, minding my business, and these red tags immediately pop out at me. Who doesn't love a clearance? 
Um, unfortunately, nothing really there for me to take. Um, just a little bit of tchotchkes here and there. Those candle holders were really pretty. Half off of that would have been $10. And normally I would have grabbed those, but I'm trying to stick to focus and stay focused. And that's just not the aesthetic that I'm going for this time around. So I had to leave that there. Huge tray. Beautiful tray. This huge black table, entryway, love, TV stand, love, anything that you want this to be, it could be. I just could not find the price and it was definitely too big to try to flip over and see what the price was. But listen, I wasn't even here for that. So I'm glad I couldn't find the price. I had to move on. Now I made my way down this aisle. I loved these. They had a lot of different varieties of the book holders, or I think that's what you call them. Then I stopped by the, another clearance section that really wasn't worth much of anything, unfortunately. And it seems that a lot of things just ended up in that area that wasn't supposed to be there. I'm not going to lie, I almost grabbed this U-shaped looking necklace, but the seashells were kind of out of place and it looked like it was broken, so I didn't want to grab that at all. This gold bowl was definitely enticing, and I was like, hmm, but I have plenty of gold bowls at home. So once again, I'm trying to stay on task. I don't know if you're a shopper like me, everything that's shiny and nice looks great, but that's not what we came here for, sis. We came here for a side table or the little mini table for the downstairs powder bathroom. So let's get back on task. I was approaching the area that I had found my last table and actually this is it. It looks very similar to this. I'm currently using it as a plant stand but at one point in time it was in my powder bathroom. I think I'm gonna grab this, spray paint it black or spray paint it gold and then see if I can stain the top of that light wood to get it a color that I want. This one I almost took but I don't know why I wasn't, oh, it was too short, I remember. That was a little bit too short. I needed it to be taller, and that's where I went and did the comparison. Um, so that's why I didn't grab the black one. And the black one, $9.99 was not bad at all. As you saw, there was a table there that was $59.99 that I thought was extremely expensive. But um, they didn't have that particular table in black. But that's kind of the vibe that I want to go for. I want the black bottom and the dark wood or um, reddish woodish top. But I couldn't find anything like that. It was at this moment that I realized that the table that I needed was right there. It was the same height that I needed, the taller height, and it was also black, but there was no one around to help and I didn't go off to find anybody to help me take it down. I also found one that on a lower level, but it was damaged, so I didn't get to take that one home either. So I think my search might continue, we'll see.
I'm set to do some major organizing in my house very soon. So I definitely wanted to stop by the organization section and just kind of see what they had, what the prices looked like. They had a lot of different varieties of, of tubs, tins uh, for organization. So I thought that was a good thing. Um, they had the shoe boxes, things of that nature. That was only $14.99. So I thought that was a good price. I love those little pink boxes as well if you want to get into a theme. But I like to be able to see my mess inside of the boxes so I don't have to go through each one and open it. I know a good resolution for that is labeling, but I just like to see it. Um, I might get out of that, though, because now that I think about it, if someone's over, maybe I don't want them to see my mess in those drawers or in those bins. Hmm. Loved these tables. I know I'm all over the place. Love them. I just It's just hard for me. I'm such a budget nista bargain shopper frugal i'm all the words except cheap <laughs> and i just it's hard for me to pay 50 dollars for a side table i just can't see it happening in this section i was looking for some black rugs to go in my downstairs bathroom but what i'm having a hard time finding is the black rug that has the toilet portion to match and I don't want just a standard black rug like this I want something with some frills on it or something that looks unique I don't want just that standard black setup and it's been so hard even when I go on Amazon Amazon it's black and white you know it's is this it's that I just want solid black but not that standard type of black rug I was just kind of disappointed because I've been to Ross. I've been almost everywhere home goods. I cannot find these black rugs. I thought these were really cute though. These wine holders. I said, oh my gosh, I should get one. But I was like, you know what? Let me finish my organization first. Let me finish my bathroom before I start moving on to my kitchen. I loved that. I was trying to pick this up and get the price, but it was so heavy and sturdy. I didn't want to break it. So I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to get the price on this one. I had the camera in one hand trying to lift it up in the other and it wasn't working out too well for me. I loved going down this aisle. This aisle was so much fun. So many unique glasses, so many different colors. I love this iridescent cotton candy, opal look, kind of marble look. It was so cute. I was just waving high in the glasses because I can see my reflection. I was like, hey, hey, y'all. Now, this is another section that I got stuck in for a moment. I'm like, I need coasters. Who doesn't need more coasters? And I left the coasters there that I was thinking about getting. And now I feel like I have to go back. So there will definitely be another trip to the at-home store. Right now I have these glass coasters 
on top of a glass um, table. So it clanks a lot and I really don't like that. And I fell in love with those and I think it was like five to six in a pack. And the gold goes perfect with my aesthetic that I'm going for. But I was just like, mm, need to leave it here. But now I wanna go back. Now listen, at home, is the connoisseur of a mirror okay there is not another store that could beat the quantity quality and variety of mirrors that the at home store has i've been to target i've been to hobby lobby i've been to home goods i've been to ross at home does not miss a beat I got a, a mirror there, a gold frame mirror, long length, that's in my living room to this day <laughs> for $79.99. And that was three or four years ago. I still have the mirror. It's just a beautiful, beautiful mirror. So if you're looking for something unique, if you need something for your dining room, your bedroom, your beauty room, your closet, at home is going to have the mirror for you you do have to look you do have to go behind a couple of things just like for example this mirror beautiful may not be for everybody's type but you are definitely going to find a mirror for you i don't know if i should be sponsored at this point because i'm just so passionate about their mirrors I will say they had the very unique mirrors or shiny, glossy mirrors in abundance. I've never been to the at-home store and seen rows of one same particular mirror like I did this day. I was like, I see six in a row. I see four in a row. I see five in a row. I've never seen that before. So that's awesome. Plenty of stock on the mirrors. This was so hilarious to me. I loved this print and I wanted to see the bottom of it. But this is the don't break their stuff. You break, you buy. Get footage for YouTube and get the content and get your viewers the price. That was $19.99 after I was finally able to flip that over. As I decided to stroll towards the register, finally, I was stopped by these glamorous type of glitzy lights. Is this still in? I'm assuming that it must be somehow because they have a, an abundance of them there. But I know about three or four years ago, the glitzy glam stuff, everything mirrored was the cat's meow, if you would say. And I've noticed that like with a lot of YouTube videos and decorate with me's and room makeovers and living room makeovers, I'm seeing a lot more groundedness like browns, taupes, terracottas, um, uh, rattan, and all of that is coming back in. So I was actually really shocked to see the glitz and glam. What do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know if that's still a thing. So for this trip, this is all that I'm leaving with, this table. I'm going to go home, see how I can paint it, 
flip it, make it work. Thank you guys so much for tagging along with me and shopping with me at the at-home store. I'm going to try to avoid all these snacks. This is so evil. Why do they do this to us? <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.